What's up, bodybuilding fans? Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. Well, the Chicago Pro is out, guys, and Michael Lockett is the new men's open champion, narrowly defeating Sergio Oliva Jr., last year's uh, New York Pro champion. Lockett, you know, is one of these guys who's always been super dangerous every show he competes at. He's always in shape. The guys, I've never seen him out of shape ever. And every show he seems to be coming back a little bigger, a little better. And that's a dangerous guy because he's always standing right there. His one weakness is the fact that his legs are not that good. They're hard, but they're not that, they're not that girthy uh, from the front. Uh, they definitely, the one leg on the right side definitely has a problem, whether it's a knee. I think he has a knee problem or something like that. That always seems to be his one like Achilles heel. And... A lot of times he gets past that because he has so much density in his upper body and every muscle group, including his calves, his glutes, his hamstrings, are so gnarly conditioned that sometimes the judges can just look past the fact that he has that one weak leg. Now, Sergio Oliva Jr., the, the conditioning that he brought to New York Pro last year was, was not here today. I don't think he had that level of, of tremendous you know, uh, shredded paper-thin skin that he had last year. However, he definitely had a lot more size, which was very noticeable on stage. His legs are far superior to Michael Lockett's legs, without a doubt. Uh, his posing is, you know, unconventional, but very charismatic and enticing. And, and you, you almost, your eyes go to him. Lockett's a little bit more low-key. He kind of just hits the shots, shows what he got, and, that, and that's, what's, that's it. Uh, so it was a very close battle between those two guys, and they would call that alone. And the judges really, you know, you could tell the judges worked these guys and really wanted to see in their minds who was better. And even though the scorecards might have indicated that Lockett won unanimously, I have a feeling it was very close on every judge's scorecard because they they were tough to judge because they have different types of physiques. Sergio, obviously, the classic poses, the like I said, the eye enticing type stuff on stage, the the flashiness, you know, he has a lot of his father's, you know, opposing uh, skills, probably even better. And I think he's really coming to his own as far as presenting his physique goes. So while he might, like I said, he might not have been as hard as last year, he certainly was better than last year, I think, in the sense that he brought more completeness to his physique. Uh, unfortunately, Lockett was just so damn hard that I think it was just too much, you know, in the judges' minds to, to give Sergio the win here because of the fact that Lockett had the conditioning. Now, you know, some judging panels overlook conditioning a little bit because of the completeness of the physique. And I think that you have to admit that Sergio Oliva Jr. was way more complete than Lockett because of the leg development. I mean, Sergio's got really good legs with really good separation. Uh, Chris Aceto, you know, does a ter tremendous job with Sergio bringing in that level of, of, uh, of, I guess you could say, muscle separation that you don't see on a lot of guys. But Lockett is so hard in his own right, that, you, you know, you, every every direction he turns in, you, you, you see nothing but sinewy muscle. So it was a tough decision for the judges. And you know what? You can't complain either way. Had Sergio won, no one would have complained. Had Lockett won as he did, I don't think – I'm not going to complain. I don't think anyone would complain either. It was, that, it was really that close. And that makes for a great show for the audience, for the spectators – and obviously for everyone looking at the pictures. And I think that Lockett is so hard. I've seen him in person. It doesn't really translate into photos. If anything, I think Sergio looks better in photos sometimes than he does in person. Although you have to really see him posing in person to really get a true... You kind of just get drawn into his physique. Once again, I want to congratulate both guys because it was a great battle. And I know Sergio was there in front of his hometown audience. He grew up in Chicago. So this was a nice homecoming for him. The 212 division was won by Craig Richardson. To me, this division was not that competitive. Uh, I didn't think this was the best Craig Richardson we'd seen. The funny thing is that when Craig's at his best, <laughs> he never gets the win. He comes in here, he, his conditioning could be a little better, and he still gets the win here because I think the lineup is just that is just not that difficult. So congratulations, Craig. He's one of us. Uh, he's one of the old old guard. Uh, in his uh, mid to late 40s there, and uh, he's still getting it done every single time. He's going back to the Olympia. Congratulations, Craig. Uh, probably one of the more exciting battles of the weekend in Chicago, though, it was the classic f physique battle that we saw between Wesley Vissers and Amit Roy. 
the Bengal Tiger, as they call him. Amit's got a great story. Amit, Amit was a guy who came from India with a dream of becoming a professional bodybuilder. This was before classic physique was even around. He couldn't even... He wasn't a citizen of the United States, couldn't couldn't compete for a pro card here. He had basically nowhere to go. He was like a man without a country, so to speak. And then they formed Classic Physique. He wound up marrying uh, someone in the United States. He got citizenship. He, he turned pro at the North American Championships. And, you know, he's now just finished second here in uh, Chicago, which is a tremendous feather in his cap. He was certainly, without a doubt, the most conditioned guy in the show. And, you know, a lot of people felt he should have won, you know, but let's get to why he didn't win. Wesley Vissers. You know, I've interviewed him on RX Muscle before. I did a little preview about his physique a couple weeks ago because I, I just think this guy is super talented. And let's face it, one word won this for him, Arnold. He maybe facially doesn't look as much like Arnold as, as, as some people might think, but his physique is like a clone of Arnold's physique. You know, he's still in the beginning stages. You know, he still has much more to develop. Uh, this is his pro debut. He wins here tonight, and a lot of people want to know why, because he's not the most conditioned guy. His, his, his coloring wasn't really good in prejudging. I'll tell you once again, Arnold. He looks like Arnold. We all love Arnold. We all want to see Arnold back on stage again. He's Arnold incarnate. It's unbelievable. You know, his, the, the look and shapes of his muscles and, and his waistline and, his, and, and how and obviously he's emulating Arnold's poses purposely, and I would do the same thing if I had that kind of a physique, and it works. Arnold is the ultimate classic physique. Let's face it, that's what the division was made after. He looks like Arnold. Uh, he, you know, he's got better legs probably than Arnold had, um, for sure. Um, he, but he, when he hits those classic Arnold poses, you just <laughs> you want you want to see the guy win, and that's why he beats you know Amit. Amit is a lot shorter than him, although a more impressive conditioning wise and coloring and polish wise. Wesley Vissers, you know, is a guy who these the judges see as a future of this division. One of the top guys will be vying for Olympia titles down the road. He made a lot of amateur mistakes here. Like I said, the coloring wasn't good. Uh, I think that if his coloring was better and he could have been a little drier, maybe his conditioning was pretty good. He just it didn't it didn't come out on stage because you know when you're not as dark as the other guys there, uh, you don't look as hard. You know. Also, I think he could have been a little drier, but. When he hit those certain poses, if you see in statically when he's in some of those mandatories, you, you, your eyes leave everyone else and they just go to this guy. He sticks out. And and when you stick out on stage in a good way, you win shows. And and that's just how it goes. I mean, Arnold's won, won shows that people thought he never should have won. The 1980 Mr. Olympia. Uh, you see him standing there and he doesn't look like anything. And then you watch him do his posing routine and you're like, fuck, the guy's the winner. And it's because he has charisma on stage. And that's what Wesley Vissers has. He has a lot of charisma. And this guy is going to be a force to be reckoned with, I'm telling you, down the road. And for a long time to come, assuming he doesn't get injured or anything like that, here's a guy who has a tool set that is super impressive. You want to see the guy do well. And I think he's only getting better. He's going to learn from these mistakes he made. He's going to be at the Olympia now in September. And we're going to see a guy come back with a lot more polish. He's going to perfect some of these poses. And there's going to be a lot of guys cheering for him at this show. you know. And he's going to give these guys a run for their money because he's tall. He's imposing. And you're once again, tall and imposing is always great on stage uh, when you have a complete physique. Because you just see more of the, your body. And that's what Arnold was so great. When Arnold and Franco would pose on stage, you can make a case Arnold, I mean, Franco was more complete and had a lot more muscle than Arnold per square inch. But Arnold beat him every single time. And no one ever thought otherwise. So Visser's really, you know, impresses here. Congratulations to Mitt on that second place. You know, I'm, you know, you got the best story on stage. No one has a, a better overcoming the odds story than you do. Cinderella story all the way. And Kevin Johnson in third is, is a true talent as well. Watch this guy in the future because he is very dangerous. But let's face it, the uh, the name of the, I guess you could say, day here in Chicago was Michael Lockett winning the Open, you know, defeating Sergio Oliva Jr., the biggest story of the night, and, of course, the emergence of Wesley Vissers as a classic physique uh, pro to keep your eye on come Olympia time. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle news update.